in New York Times, there was uh, printed all the uh, names of people who uh, passed away or died mm -hmm. uh, at the COVID. Yes, all COVID. that, yeah. And uh, a friend said it was such a feeling of despair. Mm -hmm. uh, such a hopeless feeling mm -hmm. to see that. And, uh, you know, despair, uh, it's, uh, I think you have to uh, let yourself feel it, mm -hmm. you know, let it in. Yeah. Um, and then you let go. You don't wallow in it. You don't hold on to it. Mm -hmm. But it's important to to uh, let it in and let yourself feel that because then you know there is whole world, right? Many others just also feel despair. Mm -hmm. And in that way, uh, you know, you are uh, uh, connected. Uh, it's, a, a, it's a human condition to feel despair. Yeah, it's a yeah, human condition to feel despair. It's a, it's a yeah, it's yeah, it's hopeless hopelessness, or it's a not not winning, the opposite of not winning. And usually, I think in our mm. our everyday life, we want to be on top, mm. and and uh, despair is hitting actually the bottom. You know, there's nothing mm -hmm. else. There's nothing else to lose. So you're kind of you're kind of trapped. You're kind of trapped there. But in um, so in that way, it's like uh, uh, dying, you know, dying in the sense that you have to let go of. Oh yeah, you have to the, let go of your self-centeredness. You think things should be or think uh, or, or terrible things is also uh, part of uh, you know the whole. Uh, oh yeah, uh, but it's totally in opposition to what we we think of ourselves because we're always looking outside of ourselves how we are like we got everything together and you know we're the good ones we're the good ones and that over there's the evil mm. you know but when we um actually do meditation we're we're um honestly actually bare bones honestly looking at our life we're looking at how self-centered we are I remember um, in 19, I think it was 1990, I went to Auschwitz, the concentration camp, and we did a session, a sat meditation at the concentration camp, and I couldn't believe, you know, how, how um, uh, somebody or how humanity, how we could uh, kill other people. And how much hatred there was mm. towards another. And then I, when I was at, at Auschwitz, I felt that hatred towards the other. And then when I was sitting, it, it was just, it was so, I don't know. I mean, I was surprised how much hatred I had mm -hmm. within myself. Mm -hmm. It was within yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're all capable. Yeah, yeah. But when, but then when I sat, when I sat with that, just like what you're saying is let it in. When I sat with it, if I, I let it in and then at the same time feel it, but then at the same time let it go, there's something that happens with that despair that is transformed. You know? So it is, it is a, a great loss or this great loss is a death, but at the same moment, then there's a rebirth or a renewal something something comes up that's renewed within that and so despite the despair uh, it's important to that might sound even strange to uh, lighten up mm -hmm. but not lighten up by uh, uh, um, trying to avoid it yeah uh, but the that the despair is also part of life. And uh, lighten up means that yet 
you live with all those things. Yeah. And lighten up means that you can feel it. I mean, you can feel mm. the disparity or despair of humanity, you know, and then that makes yeah. one connected. Yeah. You know, one connected mm. to your, if you're connected mm. with your own life in that way, mm. then you, you feel connected with yeah. others and then all things around yeah. you yeah. through the despair. Mm -hmm. feeling despair yeah. 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 So. and then uh, absurdly enough then it becomes beauty you know the the, uh, the, the beauty of suffering in the in, in the world yeah uh, so yeah 